The question of whether computers can think is like the question of whether submarines can swim. To be human is to be a human, a specific person with a life history, an idiosyncrasy, and point of view. Artificial intelligence suggests that the line between intelligent machines and people blurs most when a puree is made of that identity. Maybe the only significant difference between a really smart simulation and a human being was the noise they made when you punched them. I think they are a better race than humans ever were. The AI does not hate you, or does it love you, but you are made out of atoms which it can use for something else. Our ultimate objective is to make programs that learn from their experience as effectively as humans do. We shall say that a program has common sense if it automatically deduces for itself a sufficient wide class of immediate consequences, anything it is told and what it already knows. Artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. I visualize a time when we will be to robots what dogs are to humans, and I'm rooting for the machines. Artificial intelligence is that field of computer usage which attempts to construct computational mechanisms for activities that are considered to require intelligence when performed by humans. AI is about making machines more fathomable and more under the control of human beings, not less. Conventional technology has indeed been making our environment more complex and more incomprehensible. And if it continues as it is doing now, the only conceivable outcome is disaster. Machines will be capable within 20 years of doing any work that a man can do. Artificial intelligence is the mimicking of human thought and cognitive processes to solve complex problems. AI has never been a monolithic science. By the mid-1970s, the diverging interests of its pioneers were giving birth to recognizable specialties. Artificial intelligence, the art of making computers that behave like the ones in movies. Some people worry that artificial intelligence will make us feel inferior, but then anybody in his right mind should have an inferiority complex every time he looks at a flow. By 2000, 100, our destiny is to become like the gods we once worshipped and feared. But our tools will not be magic wands and potions, but the science of computers, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and most of all, the quantum theory. Success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last, unless we learn how to avoid the risks. Automation is no longer just a problem for those working in manufacturing. Physical labor was replaced by robots. Mental labor is going to be replaced by AI and software. We really believe that long term, the way AI will drive is similar to the way humans drive. We don't break the problem down into objects and vision and localization and planning. But how long it will take us to get there is questionable. A calculator is a tool for humans to do math more quickly and accurately than they could ever do by hand. Similarly, AI computers are tools for us to perform tasks too difficult or expensive for us to do on our own, such as analyzing large data sets or keeping up to date 
on medical research. The AI as a tool in music making is fine, but it's always going to be the humanity in music that makes people want to listen to it. If our era is the next industrial revolution, as many claim, AI is surely one of its driving forces. Despite all the hype and excitement about AI, it's still extremely limited today relative to what human intelligence is. Having been trained as a computer scientist in the 90s, everybody knew that AI didn't work. People tried it. They tried neural nets, and none of it worked. To say that AI will start doing what it wants for its own purposes is like saying a calculator will start making its own calculations. Teaching is probably the most difficult of all current jobs for an AI to manage. If you don't believe that, then you have never truly taught. I believe AI and its benefits have no borders. Whether a breakthrough occurs in Silicon Valley, Beijing, or anywhere else, it has the potential to make everyone's life better for the entire world. When people speak of creating superhumanly intelligent beings, they are usually imagining an AI project. AI cloud is just very, very nascent. If you have a lot of data and you want to create value from that data, one of the things you might consider is building up an AI team. Making the AI better in a video game is not like making the AI better in, say, a chess game. Making it better in terms of acting ability, we're basically improving its acting so that the user can have more fun. Any movie that deals with an AI computer voice stands in the long, long shadow of 2001. 